the curing, though we're adding some other things, we're adding a little bit of chili powder, but not very much, and it's just gonna be on the outside, um, and black pepper and salt. So when Doug and I do these, we usually make them really peppery and hot. Um, Al said his family doesn't like real peppery and hot, but even if you, even if I tried to make this hot for you, you're gonna take thin slices of it, right. and the heat is just on the outer rim. Mm -hmm. So it's not even that much heat. Mm -hmm. um, so don't be scared about chili powder. Or even if I had cayenne in here, or red pepper flake, it wouldn't matter. So the curing process is the same. It's gonna go in here. Jonathan did a nice job um, trimming it. I'm just gonna tap, pat out a little bit of that blood. Some people uh, trim theirs a little bit more. We usually go on the left side to make a nice big hunk of meat. Um, and then after this is cured, thank you. Uh, it needs to be hung to dry out. Because you're going to eat this raw. Well, you, traditionally it's eaten raw. You, I guess you could cook it if you wanted to. Um, and then it's going to be hung to dry, and usually the drying time um, around a month or more, and we usually weigh ours after the curing time. So after we take this out, we would weigh it again, and after it loses like 40% of its cured weight, then it's time to eat it. Some people, Doug and I included, like putting it into some sort of casing to help slow down the drying because it can, it can get too hard on the outside and the inside won't dry out the way it's supposed to. So, um, in Italy, there are guys that take the leaf fat and they scrape it off the day the pig is slaughtered. They scrape that membrane <coughs> off. And that membrane they would use after this is done curing and they would wrap around it and stitch it up a little bit so it would have like a protective coating. Most people nowadays, because that is a very old thing to do, and most people don't have access to full sheets of that stuff. Uh, it's called pelodesunia. Since they don't have access to it, they'll buy something called a beef bone, which is just the, the cecum out of a cow. Um, and they would, and I can tell you where to get one if you want to do this. Um, and then they would stuff it in there and then truss it, tie it up. And you probably have seen like cured meats that have like almost like the woven netting around yeah, them. Yeah. That just helps it hold its shape and it actually puts a little bit of pressure on it to make sure that the inside moisture is getting squished squeezed out. Squeezed a little bit. Not, I mean, not like squeezed out, but it puts pressure on it. Yeah. And so after curing, you can leave this on here, like all the cure on it because it's not going to look like this when it's done curing. Um, stuff it into that beef bone. And you have to take a video of that because that'll be funny. Um, uh, and then uh, you would truss it. And there are videos online about how to truss some of these things. We're, we can't do it today because it's not ready. Um, and then you would hang it. You know, up there. Somewhere where there's air movement is the main thing. And humidity is good, especially initially. Because if it's too dry where you hang it, you'll still get what's called case hardening and the outside will dry too fast and the inside won't dry the way you want it to. That makes sense? Yeah. So those are these basic small whole muscle cures. I'm going to need someone to go down to the fridge and get the prosciutto out and we'll do that one next. Good morning modern steaders. I don't know about you but I've been loving this video series from processing the pigs to cutting them up, now to curing them. Oh, it's been so great, been learning a ton. We've been able to smoke the bacon after we cured it, that was delicious. Right now we got the copa in the refrigerator. Let me get that out and show you. Oh, this thing is beautiful. Got this curing in the fridge. I wish you could smell it, it smells perfect. Still in the bag, it's hard to see, but it's a thing of beauty. Rub it down, put it back in the fridge. The refrigerator smells delicious because after we smoked all the bacon, I stuck it in the fridge for a day to let it stiffen back up so I could cut it into nice thin bacon slices. So every time I open that refrigerator, it smells like bacon and I love it.
Watching the video has been great. It just brings back so many memories and reminds me of all the things I need to do. Which, right now, let's go get out some belly from the pig. It's in the freezer. We can let it defrost and then we can cure and make some more bacon. Take out some pork belly right here. We have quite a few sides of it still. I'm just taking out one package. We're going to put it in the fridge, let it defrost. We have a vacuum sealer coming. Hopefully that should be here this week. That's going to be great. Once the pork belly's defrosted, we can get up our cure, put it on there, vacuum seal it, and see the difference if it makes a difference using a vacuum sealed package or just a Ziploc bag. I'm looking forward to it. It's been so much fun curing our own meats and then smoking them. Oh, using that smoker has been great. In the refrigerator is the prosciutto that's still curing. That's looking marvelous. In tomorrow's video, we're going to be curing the prosciutto. That's going to be so much fun. I got to get my root cellar built so I can hang up the prosciutto and the copa. I ordered a beef bung and that came in. Let me show you, I haven't opened it yet. And we'll stuff the prosciutto inside of the beef bung and then we can hang it in the root cellar once we have it built. There is one long one it looks like in here, maybe two salted. So we're gonna have to let this sit in water and let it rehydrate before we use it. But we're gonna store it in the refrigerator for now. And when we need it, we'll have it. I got my navy blue Lumna Acre shirt on today. I really love the khaki logo. If you guys want to get one of these shirts, I'll put a link in the description down below and I'll have a pop-up right here. You can go over to our website and get a t-shirt. They're 20 bucks with free shipping. How can you beat that? And the sweatshirts are 42 with free shipping in the United States. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I really enjoyed it. I've been enjoying all of them. It's been great. We'll see you right back here tomorrow where we'll be curing the prosciutto.